a very warm welcome to WS Cube Tech. So, guys, in our previous session, we have covered the histogram plots. In our today's session, we will be talking about the scatter plot. So, guys, scatter plot is the one where you have data in a scattered format. How does it looks like? Let's have a look on that. So, we have created such kinds of plots before in our matplotlib as well. How Seaborn has made it easy? Let's have a look on that. Now, guys, to create a scatter plot, first of all, we need to import Seaborn as SNS. So, I'll be creating an alias called as SNS, not NSS. NSN whatever and I'll be importing matplotlib as well so import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt and also let's import pandas as well so import pandas as pd so you can use data sets or you can create your own data frame as well using the pandas totally choice is up to you i would prefer data sets over here because they have lots of data and the graphs actually actually look like much more useful you can analyze so many things if you use data sets over here just for practicing i'm saying and if you have your own data then obviously you can work on your own data as well so for the data set we can go over here and check for the data set so we will go to the repository and let's go with the exercise this time so we will be using this exercise.csv so we will be writing df is equals to sns dot load underscore data set and which data set we are talking about we are talking about the exercise and we will be displaying it let's see what all columns we have in this data set so for that we will be writing df dot head which will give us the starting five data of this data set so as soon as i run it i'll get the output so we have an unnamed column and we have an id we have diet diet of two types one is low fat and one is full fat or maybe normal fat i don't know which is the next column over here we have pulse we have time and we have rest and kind of something like this so let's have let's create a scatter plot over here for the scatter plot uh, for the x-axis and y-axis what we are going to take is let's take x-axis as the time and y-axis as the pulse so here i will be writing sns dot scatter plot in our scatter plot we will be writing x is equals to so as we said x axis is equals to time comma y axis y is equals to let's take it as pulse and the data the data is coming from our data frame so data is equals to df let's run and see what output we will get so you can see over here we have a data in such a pattern we have one minute 15 minutes and 30 minutes so data over here has been scattered in this way we are obtaining the scattered data in this way we are obtaining the scattered data now if you want to add more functions to it more uh, functionalities more graphical functionalities to it so for that what we will be doing i will be writing sns dot data set sns dot scatter plot so we'll be writing scatter plot and here we can pass x is equals to let's say we have time and we also have in y that is equals to pulse the data is coming from our data frame so data is equals to df and we can give a hue over here for hue we will be writing h u e and hue can be for the hue we can use the column let's say we will be using kind so i'll be writing kind over here kind needs to be given inside the double quotation so now kind and if i run it it will give me an output in this pattern so we have three in kind we have three things so we have rest which uh, which is in blue color we have walking which is in orange color and we have running which is in green color if you want to provide it with the palette you can provide it with the palette as well so we can write palette is equals to and you can provide with any palette so i'll be giving one called as g n b u and let's run and see what output we will be getting so in the kind we have three things now rest walking running rest is somewhere around light greenish color walking is somewhere around the sky blue kind of a color and running is a blue color over here so you can provide it with the palette as well suppose if you want to define the size over here for defining the size what i'll be doing i'll be just taking the same data from here so let me just put it over here and after this you can provide with size is equals to for size we can uh, define the size with any column over here so size could be defined with the diet so let's write diet over here and if i run it so you can see the uh, small dots show the low fat and uh, um, cap and the bigger dots over here are showing the no fat diet over here so we have one minute 15 minute 30 minutes in which the smaller dots are showing the low fat diet and the bigger dots are showing the no fat diet similarly you can change the markers as well suppose you want them to represent any kinds of marker so marker is equals to based on marker suppose if you want to give this data so for that again for the marker let's take size so i'll be taking size here now as soon as i run it 
Similarly, if I take this data from above and I want to change the marker over here as well. So for that, what I'll be doing, I'll be writing comma marker. So for marker, you can define which marker you want. I want, let's say the marker in the format of a star. So I'll be writing a star and as soon as I run it, so I'll be getting stars over here. Similarly, if you want any other marker you want in the format of a square, you can give S as well. So it will give you the markers in the format of a square. And let's try plt.show because this line keeps annoying me. So plt.show and this is how it looks like. Also, if you want to change its transparency for that, we will be writing alpha. Alpha over here gives you the range between 0 to 1. So I'll be writing alpha is equals to let's say i want to put it 0 0.5 which is half transparent so this is how they look like the dots over here are now half transparent you can see over here you can see the comparison the color comparison over here they are half transparent now similarly if i put it to 0 0.7 they were they will be looking more towards the solid and as soon as i bring it towards the 0 0.2 it would be more lighter more transparent so zero will be completely transparent and one over here means a complete solid so this is how alpha works so I hope guys that all the functions over here are clear to you that how a scatter plot is created, how we can read a scatter plot is very simple that the data over here, you can see the maximum density over here is between in one, in one minute we have the maximum density between, uh, let's say somewhere around 82 to 105 or 103 some, three -ish something here in 15 minutes we have more density between 90 to 100. Then some parts over here and 120 and 130 as well. In 30 minutes, we have the pulse going around. The higher density would be uh, between 85 to let's say 105 and some of them are going up to 150 as well. Similarly, you can provide it with the hue and the palette as well. So we can get the legend in the legend. We can get different types of hues and the palette. That means if you want to change the colors over here, you can provide it with the palette. So we can define the size inside the scatter plot as well. Suppose if you want to change the size of these um, dots over here you can provide it with the size and lastly we have markers and markers in alpha over here so alpha over here defines the transparency and marker is that if you want to change the pattern of the marker then you can change the pattern of the marker by defining the marker as whatever kind of marker you want to apply so i hope you guys have no doubts in the questions in the scatter plot and in our next session we will be talking about heat map plot so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session thank you